Welcome back everyone. I'm Jason from New York. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is about emergency home preps. Uh, I haven't done a video in a while, maybe a month and a half, two months. Uh, I just recently moved uh, to a much bigger apartment, uh, to a five bedroom and two bathrooms, which is very, very rare, especially in New York. Um, yeah, so it's been a, a rough ride these past uh, two months. But anyway, I'm back. I also want to give a quick shout out. Oh, New York City train, MTA. You hear that? Yeah, it's noisy over here. But anyway, I'm like across the street from the train station, by the way. So I don't mind. Got a good view. But uh, back to the video. So every kit may differ depending on who you are and where you live. So these items, I narrowed it down to a few. This is not bug out bag items. You know, I could bug out with some of these items, but not all of them, just because of their size. As an example, my large first aid kit. Uh, check out my video on that. I am not gonna take that with me if I have to evacuate my apartment, you know, leave the city. Uh, unless I have the space for it in my car, I'll take it. So the radio, that will be in my bag. You know, so these are just examples. I have multiple items. Uh, even the flashlight. This is my brother's 6D size flashlight. I'm not going to bug out with that. You know, that's a home prep item. But anyway, let's get to the video. I'm going to give you the quick rundown. First things first, water. Stock up on water. Uh, I'm running low at the moment. Remember, I live for, you know, full house of six, including myself. Second, food. Uh, food grade buckets. Uh, stock up on rice and beans. Make sure uh, the buckets you get are good for food. Um, you don't want that contamination of uh that taste of plastic in your food those are uh, my first and second items my third item is money always have money available um you just never know what could happen uh it might be a blackout or you you, you somebody else has your car like a family member or you lose your card and you gotta report it stolen uh always have cash in hand uh, you just never know. So that's my third item. Next item is uh, a water filter straw. Um, you could use any filter you want. Um, this is what I have available. I do want to upgrade to a much bigger oh, train again. You hear that? That's the New York City life right there. <laughs> um, hopefully you can hear me good. But yeah, some type of way to uh, filter your water. Um, why? Because water is life. So make sure you have some type. My next item will be a flashlight. Now, I am not going to backpack with this flashlight. This is a 6D cell mag light. Old school. Um, I was born 86, so around that time, the 80s and 90s, mag light, very popular. Everybody had a mag light. So my, this is my brother's flashlight. He upgraded to the LED. So, but you could use this for other things, you know, because of its size. You know, you could use this as a, as a hammer, a window breaker, some type of tool. Uh, self-defense but uh that's my next item i always carry a tactical flashlight but this one is a a good life for you know home use an emergency radio 
because if a blackout was to happen, you want to be able to hear what's going on around you. Uh, the Red Cross, uh, any type of uh, emergency responders, um, the news, the weather. So this is hand crank. All you have to do is crank it up a little bit. There you go, you got a little flashlight. Yeah, so. You wanna know what's going on. My next item will be medicine. Now, I don't take any medicine. Uh, I'm in my 30s, mid-30s, and uh, I'm considering myself to be good to great health. Um, this is just Tylenol, by the way. Um, stock up on medicine. Um, you might be able to get maybe a 30-day or a 60-day supply from your doctor. That's, that might be like the most you could get out of your doctor. You know, but um, yeah, you need your meds. Um, during the coronavirus of uh, last year, well, we still going, you know, we still have the virus going on now, but, uh, there was a, a shortage on medicine. So, you know, whenever you can, if you could save some of your medicine, go for it. I'm not a doctor, disclaimer, you know, but, uh, but if you have leftover medicine, uh, especially pill form, every type Depending on what type of pill you have, um, it does deteriorate over time. But there's a lot of pills out there that can last many years, four years, six years, eight years. Don't take my word for it, but uh, medicine could go a long time without expiring. Do your own research. Um, but yeah, now if you're taking some type of a uh, liquid type of medicine then i don't recommend that you know like I, like i said do so at your own risk uh liquid type of medicine like insulin for diabetes tend to expire quicker um so stuff like that um, but yeah stock up on uh, pain medicine or prescription drugs from your doctor always listen to your doctor number one I'm not a medical professional, so. My next item will be wipes, baby wipes. Got some wipes right here. Um, this is just a, a small travel size, but uh, every time I go to BJ's, I always buy a box just because, you know, a big family, so we use these a lot. Toilet paper falls into the same category. Next item is emergency stove. Uh, I have a couple of stoves. This is just one of them. This screws on right here. And this is the gas. This has a little button right here, the red button. This is basically the little flint and steel there. It, it scrapes the flint and causes it a spark, just like a lighter. Lights up. This one is like a medium size. You could get much bigger ones. Here I got another example. This one is smaller. This one is a good travel size. Why? Because, you know, you got to cook. You got to eat. Uh, my next item is uh, matches and lighter. This is what I keep in my kitchen. You know, uh, you can stock up on UCO matches, windproof, waterproof matches. I keep those in my bug out bag, emergency bag. But uh, I use that on the stove a couple of times. Lighters can't go wrong with uh, big lighters. The next item will be a can opener. I prefer uh, 
a military style can opener that you could backpack with or uh, but anyway this is for home use much you know the average size can opener you gotta have a way to open up cans so my next item is first aid I have two first aid kits here I have a, a large family size and I got a small one this is a, a individual first aid kit this is more for trauma and um, I got this here I just wanted to uh, point this out uh, CPR face mask um, you are your first responder you know like I said in my other video you're responsible for yourself and your loved ones everyone else you know call 911 first the last thing you want is to help someone um, medical type situation and now they want to sue you so always keep that in mind help yourself and your family before anybody else um, a CPR face mask, I recommend just because if someone you know is having a heart attack, there's two two to three things you could do for them. Give them an aspirin or give them CPR. Yes, call 911 first. Like I said, I'm not a doctor. You know, don't listen to me, but call 911 first. Get trained. Know your CPR because I've used not this a mask, but I actually had it to do CPR on someone. So it was a coworker of mine's. Uh, she passed out. I checked to see if she was breathing. She wasn't breathing. So get trained in CPR um, because the what was it? The ambulance came. Uh, maybe 18 minutes later or 20 something minutes later all it takes is what three four five minutes no oxygen to the brain uh, you could get brain dead uh, coma death you know so keep that in mind if somebody has a heart attack take charge do what you gotta do if it's you know your loved ones not a stranger your loved ones save yourself first you know save your loved ones first Get the right training by the right people. My next item is duct tape. I like to uh, fix things, repair things. But let me tell you, if you don't know anything about repairs or how to fix things, get yourself some duct tape. Duct tape fix anything you don't need to be a genius to use duct tape so it could be any brand you want i like the gorilla brand but yeah stock up on that my next item garbage bags this is a 55 mil heavy duty garbage bags uh, you could use this for anything you could use it as, as a tarp uh, um, for the ground for rain cover uh, if you're cold you could uh, use this as a poncho this will keep you warm believe it or not just cut out a little cut out the end make a little hole for your head um, yeah you could use this for a lot of things uh, hygiene uh, trash even if you have to uh, um, fill up your, your backpack or clothes or move things around in the rain, you know, so storage. Um, not a lot of people think about garbage bag as an emergency item. So stock up on these. It's cheap. It, it's worth it. it. It does a lot. My next item will be a multi tool. These are my favorites. Uh, this is the Leatherman Sidekick. 
spring loaded. Um, I use these a lot. So, like I said in my other videos, I have this in all my kits. You know, my fishing kit, my uh, my work bag. Um, this is my EDC item every now and then. You know, four times out of the week um, around the house. So this is a medium size, not too small, not too big size. Multi tool. That falls into the tool category. You shall always have a box of tools. Like a plumber's wrench, a screwdriver, screws and nails. You should have that in your home. Alright, next item will be... A wool blanket. Um, just in case the power goes out. this back just a way to keep warm um, I recommend wool uh, wool is heavy but it does its job even when wet it holds its temperature it will still keep you warm even when wet um, there's a lot of brands out there there's also military brand wool blankets um, I recommend go for the 100% or 90, 80%. The 80, 90% tend to be more comfortable. So, but uh, get yourself a wool blanket. Um, it does its job, like I said. You know, what more could I say about it? Um, I don't remember how much I paid for this one. Um, maybe you could look up the brand. I got this off Amazon. Uh, five star review. So I'm happy I got it just in case for emergency. I did have the old military version once, but uh, can't find them. But yeah, so get a couple of these. You are going to put this to use. Trust me. Next item is tea light candles. You could use any candles you like. Um, what I like about the tea light is that I could share these. I could backpack with these. Um, they're affordable. You know, they're lightweight. They're cheap. Um, don't let the size fool you. Um, depending, you know, some tea lights are smaller than others. But the average burn time for a tea light candle is around four hours. Um, if you're interested in these candles, I don't know if you see that well. Um, what I like is that, uh, these repel mosquitoes, um, not a hundred percent, but, um, hey, anything that repels mosquitoes, I'll buy. So, that's just, uh, a little example. I have other candles, too, you know, I recommend bigger size candles for home use, but, uh, can't go wrong with tea light. Next item battery bank or generator this one has a built-in solar so all I have to do is leave this on the window on the anywhere where this direct sunlight to uh, this will recharge my battery this is a built-in battery of a panel here so I'm able to charge this up uh, without plugging it into the wall I could plug this into the wall, but uh, if I'm unable to, I could power it that way. And this one has a real good flashlight on it, too. This has a SOS, if you notice the patterns. Strobe. It has a built in compass. Now, 
Now this one is more basic. Um, this one doesn't have the solar. This one, what I like about this one, it has the battery indicator. Let's see, is it that way? Yeah. Am I turning this on right? Hmm. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, there it goes. 82%. Uh, check up on these. These do drain slowly. Uh, charge these up maybe every month or every two months. But uh, if you want to look up this company, there you go. It's always good to have backups. And generators, you know, I live in an apartment, so a gas generator is not good for an apartment. A lot of fumes, it's noisy, it's big. Eventually, you know, I would uh, dish out the money for it, but not for right now. Next item, glow stick. If you have kids, let me tell you, glow sticks, if you have no power, the last thing you want is crying kids. Screaming, yelling, crying kids. Stock up on these. I have a lot of these. Uh, buy them in bulk. Um, they don't last long. They last a couple of hours. That's one reason why I don't like about glow stick. But it's useful. Um, strongly recommend it. My next item will be batteries. Look at that. It wasn't expecting that, right? Now, this is just a hard case. Here I got uh, AA batteries and AAA batteries. This case came with this little uh, battery tester. You just pinch the battery right here and it tells you if it's good or not. Use this a lot. This is, a, you know, my backup. Uh, the case is new, but uh, yeah, all types of batteries. I even got the small coin size battery, the CR2032, I believe, you know, some C cell batteries here, some 9 volt. Um, I got some more here on these little uh, zipper compartments. But yeah, so if you could get this case... Go for it. It's worth it. And that's about it. Um, if I'm missing any items, uh, let me know. Um, what did you like about this? What didn't you like? What would you add? You know, what would you take out? Um, uh, especially for uh, what's been going on with the pandemic. Um, I do have, I forgot to mention, medical masks, N95 masks, rubber gloves. That's all included in my large first aid kit because this is a home prep video, just in case you were wondering. Uh, hand sanitizer too, I'm not sure if I mentioned that yet. But yeah, be safe out there. Give me a like, subscribe to my channel, thanks again for the positive messages, comments from you guys. Tune in next week for the next video. Thank you, signing off, Jason from New York.